I've, I'd had dogs before, but as a kid, so they were actually sort of my parents. It was my, my first pets as, as, an, as an adult, I guess. Um, so I wasn't really sure. Um, I think initially uh, I didn't realize they would require so much attention. Um, and being from a working environment, I, I needed to rebalance my life a little so that I could actually spend a bit more time with the dogs. He came with, the, with an older companion, um, Kyra, who was, a, who was an old Ridgeback. They were best of friends. I mean, really, really, they, they were inseparable. Um, they used to do everything together. And when I'd, uh, when I'd fetched him for the first time, uh, he had never been in a car before, actually. Um, and so when I put him and Kyra in the car, they were absolutely terrified and I couldn't actually drive away because he would just jump over and, and sort of sit right in my face, very nervous and licking and licking. So it took me about an hour to drive the first block. So it was quite, quite a journey to get there, but I think that ties back to the best memory I had is about three or four months later, um, I used to take them down to the beach and the one day I just opened the boot and he and he just stormed in and jumped into the, into the boot because uh, he was going to the beach. So I think that would be the best memory. Um, yeah, I would say definitely his happy space is when he, when he gets to walk, um, when we go for a walk in the late afternoon on the farm. So we head up into the mountains or into the dam here um, and he would go for a swim or just take a run around, chase some guinea fowl uh, or chase rats or anything that moves really. Um, yeah, and he just, uh, he just runs around and as happy as can be. <laughs> uh, Butch tends to, to jump on anyone and anything that comes around. If there's any sort of cocktail dress uh, anywhere in the vicinity, I do get really worried <laughs> because he does jump up and put his muddy paws on, on anything. If I'm home early, uh, I can hear from, from when Jen hits the top of the road actually because they, they know the sounds of the cars and they, and they all start, uh, start running and, and barking and getting excited. So. It definitely gives me pre-warning to, to start taking my nap. <laughs> He's just always forgiving and happy, you know, and like, uh, I think that's a good way to go through life. Uh, he doesn't have any hang-ups or, or any bad memories or anything. He just he keeps going and, and takes each day as a, as a happy, happy as day as can be.